another generation to pass the gun review. Welcome back to another Plastic On Review. Today we're going to cover Generation 2 Volt. Here's G2 Volt in his legend size. Yes, I know this is a repaint of a GoBot Skids. I have decided to create Volt and the Hot Wheels scale because you know I happen to really like the Hot Wheels scale and things. If you guys haven't really gathered that yet, then you know you probably haven't been watching a whole lot of my content. I do have a lot more. Like I said, pretty much hot wheel scale. It rolls really, really well. By the way, my background here is a little warped. That's okay. There we go. See, not rolling back is bad, but yeah, whatever. Anyway, we're not here to look at the hot wheel, we're here to look at him. Here he is in his purple and white kind of uh, deco. He's got this remote elf right here. You can never really tell what the heck these sponsors are because we're so tiny I can't even read them and even trying to pick them up on the camera it's just very hard to do just, they're so small but he does happen to have rubber tires so he does roll okay he's never really rolled that well um, even when they were brand new and out of the box years ago but, you know it's pretty cool I do like the uh, lavender purple I've used on him. I do enjoy the uh, little G2 Decepticon emblem I threw on him because you know it makes it very, very appropriate. Does have some chrome there, and it's not a whole lot. It's not a bad one. It's not the greatest, but hey, he's pretty cool. He does have an interesting transformation, though. Um, this transformation is a lot different than what most of these type of cars usually are. So usually what I do here is I'll pull these out and I will kind of more or less move these up and out of the way because these have to pull out, the arms do. And you pull the arms up like this these two pieces here down and you can kind of close those in on the bottom half of the legs. The leg portions basically is just these two feet pieces here which will just kind of rotate down. They're on little springs so they're a little difficult to do sometimes. And then as for this part here, this kind of pulls out just a little bit because these uh, two little parts here to kind of collapse a little better. And there we go. Let's get him to stand up here for a second. Oop. He's a little difficult to stand sometimes. Um, he's not completely put together here yet. Let's give me a second. And then these two pieces here, I normally just put these back down and get them out of the way. And then these you'll pull out because they will actually rotate in. Maybe a nice little snapping thing. These are die casts, so it's kind of not a uh, crazy thing, but can be scary. I'll take his arms and I'll go backward with them because this whole portion here looks out then folds under and then these two wheels will actually go back behind. And they clip into these like little slots. And then you just push these down. Bam! There you go. There is Jolt in his robot mode. Bolt, sorry, Bolt, not Jolt. I get these two mixed up all the time. Sorry, guys. Anyway, there's Bolt in his robot mode. That was pretty cool. It's not terrible. I do like him a lot. He is a decent little robot. It's got a lot of crazy detail here. His head sculpt's kind of uh, more or less plain. It's not a uh, crazy head sculpt. If I can ever get it to focus, focus on that head sculpt. <laughs> there it goes. Maybe. Yep, there it is. Pretty much just wearing goggles. It's kind of funny. <laughs> I find him humorous. But he's a very Decepticon-y looking guy and he just kind of fits in. Um, 
I know guys out there are after like, you know, those GoBot purists out there like, oh my god, you repainted a GoBot. That's okay, because guess what? This thing actually was in very rough condition. As you can see, he was very loose. Um, wheels aren't actually in the best condition. He's got a lot of problems, just like, you know, a lot of these old guys do over the years. Um, that's, that's G2. G2 Volt in his robot mode. He's very awesome. And I like him. Anyhow, you guys stay tuned. I'll have some more coming your guys' way. That's it for now. Bye!